thesmartlocal.com Happy emotion that I want to cry It's really like a dream come true for me Like this episode really like very personal I'm Senior. Welcome to another episode of Hired or Fired. In this episode, I will be experiencing life in the Navy for a day. Today is a very, very special episode because we are here at Tuas Naval Base and I will be staying over in a warship. Eh. How crazy is that? Because I always wanted to serve the nation. It's a legit occupation I once considered back then when I was in uni. Lah. So this episode is super personal to me. It's almost like a tick off my checklist. And without further ado, we are going to get changed. I'm Captain Jamie Liu, currently an officer on a littoral mission vessel. So my job scope over the past one and a half years during my tour on board has included being a gunnery officer and also a navigation officer. Uh, life in the Navy is exciting. You really have a wide range of experiences um, that you probably won't get anywhere else. Not only do you deal with a wide range of situations when you go out to sea, you do have to be perpetually prepared to deal with any threats that might come for our shore. And also on a home front, you deal with being a nurturing divisional officer for your guys that are entrusted to you. Hi! Hi! Jamie! Hi, to meet you. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do mm. is that we have to bring you through a simulator. Oh. Right now, we are at RSS Daring, the Littoral Mission Vessel Simulator. It makes our training more realistic, more efficient because we get to do it at shore without mm. bringing the entire ship out to sea. Yeah, so we're okay. gonna put you through it, try oh. a hand at some navigational commands. Whatever you just explained sounds really cheap to me, but I think I'm ready. Okay. So, let's go! Okay, so welcome to our LMV Simulation Centre. The okay, LMV okay. Simpson uh, incorporates technology like virtual reality mm. and artificial intelligence to create realistic training. We can train navigational skills, warfare skills and technical skills in this simulator. Yeah, I feel a bit nervous seeing like all the ships outside. I know they are fake, right? But it feels like this is a real ship. But they will be real today. Ah, they will be real today? <laughs> what do you mean? Like they will when fire When you go out to sea, it will be real. Oh, okay, okay. No, later lah. It's okay, I prepare myself first. Contacts inbound towards Marina Cruise Centre. OW increase Charlie. Checkpoint! Oh, blind, uh. Pause, no, pause on that, sir. Very good. Yeah, three, four, zero. Yeah, three, four, zero. Yeah, we always a bit shit, sir. Provide cable to cable countdown before we come right to next course. Very good. All stations P. Will proceed in to Charlie Speed south of Marina Cruise. A center continue to watch track exit south to southeast for all small boats. All W webs. At the end of the demo. Oh my god. Okay, normally, right? When you send warning shots. Uh, what should they do if they are not trying to threaten us? They Good. should wave they a should white flag away. or something. Or they should turn away. Yeah, <laughs> wave a white flag. Honestly, I have no idea what, what he just said. It was so fast eh. All I heard was very good. 340, 050, <laughs> OW Roger. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I wrote down. Other than that, yeah, it was very, very cheap. I, I, I couldn't understand. It's alright. Well, I'll explain a bit more to you shortly. Okay. Yeah. After this, we'll, I'll bring you through some of the navigation commands and then okay. you can try your hand at it. I feel like I'm back to school. Basically, here, yeah. so that uh, you don't have to confuse yourself with meters and kilometers, everything is just in nautical miles and cables. How you give an order, you give three kinds of orders. Yeah. One is propulsion order, like how fast you want to be, ordering a course. So, like, what course you want to come to. Sorry, I have to say this is a really bad joke. But main cause, haha. <laughs> the last one is a wheel order. That is when your ship turns your rudder, but you haven't come to a course yet. Okay, now I'm going to get the simulator. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We go and we buy some more time. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so after the practice session, I find it really difficult because for some reason they do it so like easy. They just, you know, call the command in a very cool manner. And for me, I'm just like, you know, like, they are birds, they are stuck in the shopping mall and flipping around. I'm that bird eh. Okay, watch on deck. Ship on P2S2, open sea mode. Both engines stop, wheels and mid ship. Captain Jamie has a ship, watch on deck. Roger, Batman. Okay, your turn. Watch on deck. Ship on P2S2, open sea mode. Both engines stop, wheels and mid ships. Captain Jamie has the ship. Xenia has the con. Watch on deck. Watch on deck. Roger, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come, let's start why the you laugh? <laughs> So like, learning the command itself, I think the reason why it's so difficult is because 
they use units they are not used elsewhere. Secondly, communicating with the rest of the team. I always thought my communication is like one of the best because I play team sports, right? But for some reason, today, I was so focused on becoming like a very competent individual. I forgot about being a teammate. So when they were talking to me, I, I just like ignore them, didn't tell them what to do or like didn't tell them very good. And to call 040. 040. Zero four zero is clear, so I'm gonna say pot fifteen. Pot fifteen. Pot fifteen on blind man. Mid ship. Mid ship. Okay. Okay. She just reported to you, so must say very good. Oh, very good. Then. Yeah. Steer. This is a mid ship man. Okay. Steer zero four zero. Yes. Okay, very good. Come, let's do that a few more times. Okay. I don't think that I did a good job during the simulation class. So now that we are going to board the real ship, right, I'm damn nervous. But I'm going to just focus on some things that I can do. And that is number one, be more confident in my commands. And number two, always talk to my teammate. And lastly, look cool lah. I mean, Zinia, look cool. Don't be a fidgety bird in a shopping mall. <laughs> So we are currently at the wharf where you can see tons of warships here. It's super exciting because I've never seen it before. They look huge and I can even see like a rifle sticking out there. So I'm guessing that is the one where they fire the warning shot during the simulation class just now. So we are just going in to see how the interior looks like now. Hi, Senior. Welcome on board. May I introduce you to the Commanding Officer of RSS Sovereignty. Hi. Hi, I'm Senior. Yeah, thank you for sitting with us. I am extremely honoured to be here. It's my first time. Is there any things that I shouldn't do or...? Well, I think Jamie will look after you during this uh, simulation. Okay. Uh, so don't worry. Yes, I will. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie will look after me. So this is the dining hall. This is where the crew will eat their meals, come together for cohesion, show okay. off what. So this is the officer country. So all the officers and the senior um, MDES will sleep here. Do you want to see our cabin? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, we're staying! Oh we're staying in the senior officer cabin here! Here? Yeah. yeah. Wow! Oh my god! This is where I'm sleeping! We put some navy books on the table for you. Okay. So last year was RSN 50. If I can just plug some books right now. <laughs> Papa, yeah, so we these are all written by our own Sorry. service people. So I, right now we're mm. in the integrated command center. Does mm. this look familiar to you? Yes, it looks like the simulation center. Yeah, the simulation center is exactly a mock-up of this center. Mm. Okay, so this is the real one. We're really out at sea. Okay. okay. This is where this is the brain and the heart of the ship. We have all the navigation and warfare functions centered yep. in the same area. So later on, when you do your navigation, yes, it'll be here, navigation right? assessment part of it, it'll be in the front. Okay. You'll stand in the front as the officer of the watch and control this entire centre. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to dive straight into your navigation part of your assessment. Okay. Okay. Mm. And you're going to be steering the ship. Okay, okay. We're, we're now charging at max speed. So you think up to it? Yep. Yes. Okay. Can. Nothing more than 15, then we are safe. Correct? Okay. <laughs> Nothing more than 10. Nothing more than 10. Whoops. So okay. I will do the formal reporting. Okay. Watch on deck. Ship on PS2, P2S2, open sea mode, both full ahead, steering 056, Captain Jamie has the ship, Xenia has the con. Watch on deck. Watch on deck. Oh, watch on deck. <laughs> I was very nervous at first. I screwed up doing the simplest thing and that is to basically just repeat Jamie's commands. Uh, instead of saying P2S2, I said PS2 and like some other stupid things. La. So then um, I felt very discouraged. I felt like, shit, I really cannot do this lah. Then at the same time, it was very stressful and you had to make decisions, the right decisions in a very short amount of time. Okay, you need to slow down because you need a lot of this ferry to pass. You need yep. other vessel to come to her, then you Correct. come right in the stern of that box carrier. The, the, yep, the orange, orange. Yep. Yeah, okay. So, aim, shoot the stern now. Zero, seven, three. Okay, come, come right now. Starboard five. Oh, starboard ten. Starboard ten. Monitor. Yeah. Okay, midship. Midship. Steer, zero, seven, five. Steer 70075. Then after that, towards the end, I felt I felt more confident. I started initiating commands and Jamie approved it and she even complimented me. Then I felt very assured and I felt like I was almost addicted to doing this thing. I think it was very exciting uh, towards the end. Okay, so somewhere around here, start to slow down. 
Okay. okay. Then I'll take over from here, okay? Okay. Almost at the end. Very good. Getting good at it. And now report CTA to True Bearing 075. 3.4 favor, 4 minutes started. Okay, so that's good. above 2, yeah. so we are safe. Good. Okay, good. Okay, so, about now? Yes. Happy! Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for driving so safe. Sailing safely. I can finally breathe now. <laughs> Okay, so right now what we're going to do is that we're going to conduct a man overboard drill. Okay. In our short while, we're going to throw a life boy overboard to simulate okay. a man overboard. And mm. then we'll launch the Richard Howell boat over there. Yes. Okay, and you're going to drive it to recover the man overboard. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I think so. Okay. Oh! Man overboard, man overboard, man overboard. Man overboard, man overboard. Okay, look around you before you hand over, so make sure that the surrounding is clear. Yes, okay. surrounding, surrounding is, is clear. clear. And I'm away from mothership a safe distance. Yes. Okay, so now I hand over the ring to you. Okay, oh dear. But you will still talk to me, right? I will still sit next okay. to you. Okay, right now we are doing the man overboard drill and we are going to save the man overboard, okay? So let's go. I'm going to... Uh, is there? It's right ahead. The ship, right? Don't point, don't point towards the ship. Oh! Ah, ah, ah. Straight, straight, straight! Oh, there, 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 is there. Okay. Make yourself comfortable with the rib. Okay. You know where to turn, when to turn. Well, will the other ships think that like we are a threat? Cause no. we are like going circles, okay? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, there, 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 is there. Currently, we are recovering the, the boy. Then after, we will film a senior driving the boy. So he just got off the rip and... Wow, I, can, I cannot explain how I feel eh. Like the whole time, James, you can tell right, I just kept smiling like, I cannot stop smiling because it's so fun. I felt like a kid who is like rewarded just because like, I did my homework and then my parents bring me out to play, that kind of feeling. So when I was doing the man overboard drill, when we are trying to rescue that, right? I, I felt like I was in the Mission Impossible movie, you know, you gotta go like fast and then like you had no time to waste and I felt like I was cool for a moment. I, I think under the guidance of the coxswain, he is very very nice, he is very patient and for some reason, even though I'm going like rounds and rounds or zigzag right, they are very calm and composed people. I don't think I can ever be that calm and composed but I'm very very happy to have this experience. Like, see, I'm still smiling, I cannot stop smiling, it's really unforgettable. I'm very emotional, I want to cry. <laughs> I'm really, really like very happy. Because like, my brother signed on and I always look up to my brother. So like, I always thought I wanted to sign on. So like, for me to even be on this ship, I'm damn happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. It's really like a dream come true for me. Like, this episode really like very personal. Yay! Come on! Damn, I'm not messing at all! Oh, that's so So it's 7am now, I'm just preparing for breakfast and I'm going on my last shift later. So I think today, I'm going to set two goals for myself. And number one is to be a lot more confident in my commands and initiate more. And number two is be damn attentive. I'm not going to blink a single eye. I can't believe it's my last day. As in like last night when we were having dinner, we had so much fun. It's like I only spent a night or a day here and I felt like I was part of the family. As much as like they are very serious people at work, when it's not their shift, right? They are very fun to be around with and they are very inclusive. I think that's why I felt so welcome. But it's okay, I'm gonna make the most out of my last shift and do my best. For steering 265, Captain Jamie has the ship, Xenia has the con. Watch on deck. Oh, A yeah, hit five. Port through bearing 295. A hit three. A hit three, both. 
two, three, three. Steer two, three, three. Yeah, 2 3 3. Pineco on course 2 3 3 up. Do you see it? Do you see it? This MBS. Okay, how? Do you think you've had enough of navigation for today? Yes. Okay? Mm. Are you happy with your progress? I'm quite okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking over the navigation from here. Why yes. don't you use this time to go and look at the skyline of Singapore? Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Oh, at the start, she is a bit slow in giving the orders. The voice procedure is not that good. Uh. So, like some of the orders, she didn't give uh, specific orders. But at the towards the end of the part, after a bit more experience, yeah, she's a bit better. Uh. Wow, we get to go and take a look outside. <laughs> they released me. Just now, CEO gave me a trick question. Do you want to take a photo at the But I'm on duty, sir. <laughs> wow. It looks so different. It's like normally when I see Singapore, we are there itself, right? Now looking out at the sea, it's crazy. It's like a white lens where you can see everything. And then whatever the CEO just told me and explained to me how we are defending the waters. It makes me feel so proud. I finally like can relate even though like I didn't serve the nation, you get what I mean? I'm like so proud. Every time we still pass this area, yeah. uh, of course, always remind us of home. Mm. And also show us uh, how Singapore has come so far and yes. uh, being prosperous. Because yeah. you see the CBD skyline, mm. uh, the Tanjung Paka Terminal. Correct. So really, as a maritime nation, uh, we have come a long way. And we rely on the trade uh, a lot. Mm. Uh, and that's why the Singapore Navy needs to ensure the sea lines of communication yeah. uh, is uh, safe and secure. So that uh, the trade can go on and yes. the country can remain uh, prosperous. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can see the area around us is a uh, really a busy street with so many vessels. Yes. Yeah. And that so shows hard that. To navigate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I finished my last shift. I would say today I'm not as jittery and panicky as compared to yesterday, but I was still a bit nervous. You know why? Because CO is sitting right behind me and like. Today, um, I wanted to take more initiative and Jamie really, she was she was very nice lah. She was like always looking at me and then asking me, um, okay, what command should you give? Instead of her telling me the answer, you know. And I think that was a great opportunity for me to learn how to navigate and control the ship on my own. The one disappointment I have for myself is uh, I'm not as attentive. Whenever I see a ship or a small sampan far away, right, I just think that they are just chilling. But you have to understand that um, you got to plan ahead, you've got to prevent a problem in advance. So I think these people working here, right, they the reason why they are so dependable is because they are trained this way. And I feel like this skill set can be can be applied to different aspects of life. And that's a lesson learned from me because I'm always very last minute. <laughs> This marks the end of my two-day one-night journey as a Navy crew. I am super thankful and honoured to work alongside you, Jamie, and of course, CEO Sir. Um, thank you so much for letting me navigate the ship and also drive the RHV. And I think um, I've tried so many occupations, right? I've never tried something quite like this before. With that being said, I wanted to ask you guys, how do you think I did? I think when you first started off, you weren't even sure where you were even. <laughs> What is this? Uh, which, what are these controls? What are these people on my bridge? So I think, yeah. I think over the two-day, one-night journey, mm. you definitely picked it up and you understood basic fundamentals of who your bridge team consists of. At yes. the end, you were able to look ahead for where you wanted to go mm. and keep the ship safe. I think in terms of performance, I find you uh, that you have been hardworking. Uh, you are a fast learner with uh, good potential. So while you lack certain skill sets to perform, I think uh, you have done greatly. And I think you have embodied the values of teamwork, gumption, <laughs> and I think a very good attitude. And I oh, think you will fit you. well into the Navy uh, life. But having said so, I think safeguarding uh, our nation's uh, sovereignty and lifelines yeah. is not something to be belittled about. And definitely to do well, you need uh, more training yes. in order to uh, join us. <laughs> I, I'm 
very confused because you kind of say something good that maybe I'm good enough then after that maybe like you know not there yet so it boils down Wait. and it leads to the most important question and that is would you hire or fire me? You definitely have good potential if you're willing to join us I think the Navy will take you Oh, That means I'm not ready yet now and and I, I totally understand I would fire myself okay that's <laughs> Totally impossible for you to be hired with just a two day one night training Even though I'm fired for now I think that if I want to join CEO sir, you confident right? I can do it Yes you can Yay! <laughs> thank you, thank you so much A huge thank you to the Republic of Singapore Navy for having me and letting me try being a Navy crew for a day um, two days. <laughs> I think this collaboration, as you can tell, made me very, very happy. It made my dream come true. So then, before you go off, maybe I'll oh. send you a ball cap of the ship. Oh! Thank you for being part of it. Thank family. you! Then you have my name! I think I'm gonna wear it now. <laughs> If you like this episode, do remember to like, share, subscribe. And if you want to catch more of our videos, watch over there. Bye! <laughs>